Marissa Zamet, it's wonderful to talk to you. Now, you, let's uh, firstly focus on your professional career because it has spanned uh, many years and many facets of the communication space. Yes, thank you. Thank you for having me. I've um, been very grateful that I've had over 10 to 15 years experience in the global financial markets, starting in the communications um, sector. So that includes anything from media relations, public relations, event management. Um, lately, I've been doing a lot of work in the corporate access and the investor relations space. So here, communication is vital because not only are you dealing with so many different types of investors, whether it's institutional, domestic, high net worth, the sophisticated in investor, also mum, mum and dad retail investors, the messages and the communication that needs to go out to all these different types of people. Yes, the message needs to be the same, but sometimes we need to tweak it to make sure the audience is looked after. Um, also around the communications world, it comes the event world. So they usually, they usually work hand in hand. So there's trade shows to organise ASX uh, releases and announcements, and also the results campaigns, the AGMs, all those very important events for companies and the big conferences and the corporate days that they need to attend. To attend. Communication in all those events needs to be clear, succinct and adaptable for the audience. Indeed, and the adaptability is an important point, isn't it? Because there is a, a plethora of technology that uh, can be used now in the communications process. But uh, knowing which one to focus on is an important challenge. Yeah, sometimes you're bombarded with way too much technology and you need to know which platform works well and which which one, which, which, what can you do to use to get your message out correctly? And I think we need to tweak sometimes our message to make that work. Now, another facet of your communications experience has been the one outside of work, where you yes, sure. had um, a, a really interesting focus. Yeah, I, I took on taking um, a lot of the Maltese uh, heritage stories and bringing them to life because I found that it is uh, all, all a lot of early migrants that migrated to Australia in the 1940s, 50s, 60s. They're all aging and it was just a shame to go to the Maltese clubs and you'd hear their incredible stories but there was no nothing capturing these amazing stories of hard work, of leaving the homeland, coming to a brand new country, usually with five pounds uh, in their back pocket and the stories that they would share would just be so inspiring. So we uh, took on um, take bringing all these stories to life and through that I had the opportunity of interviewing a lot of people um, that have migrated to Australia but also the Maltese president when she was here last year which was an, an exceptional opportunity but also famous Maltese artists and Maltese directors that have used or brought their heritage through life, through what they do. So I think culture is very important. It's also very important in the workplace. Uh, we are now expecting our, our cultural environment to allow flexible working conditions. But we've also expecting a lot from our leaders. We want strong leadership, but we also want personal development and growth in our roles. Now, Marissa, another very important part of your life is your family life, which you're very proud of. Tell us a little more about that. Yeah, sure. So I think that I really value connection. So whether it's connecting with the PNC to raise funds for the school, uh, whether it's being a soccer manager for my son's team, or whether it's playing sport myself. So I'm a dance mum, a soccer mum. I play lots of sports myself. Um, so that connection with a wider community, I think, is very important because having three children is a lot of fun um, and you also, it is work, um, like in, like most things, but um, having having the, the skills and just the the time to spend with these with these people and the community, teaching, uh, li listening to their values, understanding what they require, teaching them resilience, I think is really important, and self-belief. Marissa, it's been lovely talking to you. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much, Tom.